Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, it's Doc, and today I just saw this on my Instagram. Uh, Planet 2 also just revealed the Red Crown Crane, and I'm really excited for this, you guys. I want to just like do a little analysis of it, this is the first look at it that we're going to take a uh, look at this Red Crown Crane. Um, that <laughs> That's a mouthful. But yeah, we are definitely missing big birds like these in the game i mean yes we have the southern castle where we have the ostrich but we don't really have any birds other than the flamingo that also has capabilities in water and this one it looks like it's swimming this is not something that the flamingo really does it doesn't swim this way if you look at the back there's also a tiny baby like it's such a small baby at the back that's cute it's adorable um I believe the mist that they have is not from the water heater thing that they're going to put out with the ne uh, new update. Instead, I think this entire thing is just uh, the effects that we get in the construction menu of the game. But I don't care. Honestly, this, this animal looks absolutely beautiful. I mean, look at that neck and look at the, every detail is so well thought out. I just hope that the way they move is going to be just as detailed. I It would be a shame if they just kind of copy-pasted the flamingo behavior. I do not think they're going to do that. I th also think these birds, their mating dance is one of the most iconic things in like, especially in ancient Japanese art and actually just various um, art kind of mediums in uh, Eastern Asia. Because they're such iconic birds. They're so beautiful. I hope they get their own animation for everything, including swimming. Um, I don't know. Maybe they can also do short distance flight. That would be amazing. Because these birds do fly, as far as I know, in real life. And I really can't wait. I mean, there's. I don't see anything more new in the screenshot. I guess they can also use that waterfall water feature, which makes sense. I mean, flamingos use it. And they love it. Only thing about that waterfall feature i don't exactly love it i place it in my habitats and hide it around but it's so huge especially for the birds i just find it way too large like for elephants and rhinos is fine but for the birds i find it way too large so i try to hide it but that's fine yeah it's good to know that they're getting enrichments the baby being in water really really makes me happy because you know in real life these kind of cranes um, they sometimes do leave their baby around like water lilies or on top of water lilies, some cranes. I don't know if the Japanese red crowned does that, but I know some cranes for a fact raise their babies on top of water lily pads. And it's the cutest thing ever. They're so wobbly with it. Um, the way that this one is going, like this one's kind of swimming is very interesting to me. And also... They also stand in water. That's amazing. Maybe this water was made with a shallow pond because it doesn't, the legs also don't look like it's exactly swimming. Um, I'm very excited about this. I hope we can get this pack. Just, I just can't wait, you guys. I cannot wait until the 12th of um, April. It's such a long time. At least seems like it's 12 days from now. And I already can't wait. I already built some habitats for some of these animals. And you can, in the comments below, guess which animal I built my next habitat for. I mean, Capybara is ready. Uh, we have one more speed build coming up, I think, by tonight, if I can edit it by tonight. And, yeah, I hope you guys will enjoy that, too. If you guys think that this animal is beautiful, give it a big thumbs up, I guess. And let me know what you think they're going to reveal next. Maybe the speckled caiman. That would be so amazing. Um, yeah. Have a good day.